Hey everyone, I'm Brianna from Boom and welcome to Boom Chat. Today, I have the pleasure of speaking with the amazing team that is bringing us all back to our childhoods with the new graphic novel, Scotland Bound, Charlie Brown. Today, we have Jason Cooper, the writer. Jason, wave hi. Robert hello. Pope, <laughs> Robert Pope, the artist. Robert, wave hello. Hello. Hannah White, the colorist. Hannah, give us a wave. Hi. And Alexis Fajardo, the editor. Lex, give us a wave. Hello. All right. So in this story, good old Charlie Brown has fallen in love with his pen pal from Scotland. Now, full of unbridled enthusiasm and confidence, he's convinced his friends Linus, Lucy, Schroeder, and his faithful dog Snoopy to accompany him on an international trip to meet her. Whether it's golf, music, or the mystery of Loch Ness, everyone discovers something extraordinary about the legendary country, even Charlie Brown, who realizes he's wishy-washy wherever he may be. Okay, Jason, you're up first. We see in the back of Scotland Bound, Charlie Brown, that this story is actually based off of an unproduced feature-length Peanuts animated special, Will You Not Come Back Again, Charlie Brown? And I'm trying to do my best Scottish accent, and I'm so sorry. Very good. <laughs> um, Very good. Thank you. What was this process like for you taking the storyboards that were done by Bill Melendez and turning them into a graphic novel? It was pretty exciting and nerve wracking all at the same time. Uh, the storyboards looked amazing and it was so great to see the process, how it was back when they were making specials together. Uh, but at the same time, we knew we had to adapt it a little bit there were things that we couldn't really do anymore. There was an adult in this special because it was one of the later ones. We wanted to get rid of all that. And, uh, you know, I just wanted to work on a story that sort of made sense to get everybody in Scotland because I, I, you know, I honestly, I'd taken a couple cracks at this that didn't work out. Some other writers and friends had um, written some outlines that we didn't quite think worked, but it was a long process, but a fun process. And it was something we really wanted to get right because I think, Lex can correct me if I'm wrong, but I think the whole origin of the special came out of a trip that Sparky and Jeannie actually took to Scotland together was sort of the impetus of the original idea for making uh, an animated special. So we really, really wanted to get it right, especially for Jeannie. Oh, I mean, y'all y'all really did though. It was so wonderful, like jumping back into that world. And it was like, I wish it could have been a special. Like I wish I could have seen that growing up, but it's so special to have this in a graphic novel format. So thank you for getting that out to us. Um, my next question is for Robert. Um, Robert, these characters are so beloved and so classic. What is it like for you to get to put them back onto the page? Every time I work with the Peanuts characters, I'm exactly as nervous and terrified as I was the very first time I did a good number of years ago. And I think that's a healthy way to approach things. If I'm not scared and I'm not, um, for lack of a better term, if I'm not aware of how much everyone loves these characters and how important it is to represent them properly and draw them the best way I can, then I'm not doing my job right. So I'm excited and I'm terrified and my hands are shaking, but I'm, I can't imagine anything that I'd rather do. And, you know, they're, they're just such wonderful characters and they've been a part of my entire life and, and so many people's entire lives that um, every once in a while, it's sort of a, 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 you know, reach over and pinch yourself moment. You know, if I could get in a time machine and go back to, you know, the 70s and find me when I was, you know, 10 or 11 years old and say, you'll never guess you're going to be doing this. I wouldn't have believed it and, and who would, but it's, it's just really wonderful. It's wonderful and terrifying all at the same time. I mean, if we're not a little bit afraid of something that we're doing, like, I think it means it doesn't matter to us. And I, I love hearing that it matters and you're doing a great job and I'm, we're loving everything that we're seeing. And I'm again, so excited for everybody to get <laughs> to see this. So Hannah, you're up this you're up this time. What's the process like for you getting to color the pages and help bring these lovely little characters that we all love so much to life? Uh, coloring feels a little bit like being the person who gets to ice a cake after everyone else has done all of the uh, like complicated chemistry of it. 
I always want to make sure that I'm staying true to the mood of a scene um, and that I'm doing justice to some of Robert's more complex backgrounds. It's a lot of uh, color palette putting that kind of stuff together before I even get to fill in the page, but it's, it's a really fun process. It's so beautiful. And it's so reminiscent of the original comics and you're, you're doing such a wonderful job bringing them to life. And I just, it's so great. And I just keep gushing about all of you because you're all doing such wonderful work. Lex, um, it's your turn for me to talk to you. How much input and influence did you have on this story as the editor? As the editor, it's, it's fun because I get to work with these super talented people and then just be a sounding board when they need it uh, because um, all the, the greatness is there. And it's just sort of a matter of like, just sort of giving them a little nudge to, um, to, to pursue that story that, you know, Jason wants to draw or the beautiful scenes that, that Robert puts together with all the like fun little cameos that the diehard peanuts fans will totally appreciate. And then, you know, passing off to, to Hannah, and uh, it's more than just icing on the cake. She just brings it to life and, and brings a uh, perfect mood and compliments it. So for me, I just, I'm a process junkie. So it's, I love seeing all the different stages and seeing all the background scenes and work that goes into this. Um, and then when it gets presented at a gra- as a graphic novel and there are no spelling mistakes, then it's thumbs up for everybody. <laughs> Yay, I love that. Okay, so that takes me back to Jason then. So what's it like for you getting to make this new character, Nell? She's so adorable. And also I need to know, were you imagining her Scottish accent while you were writing? Uh, It was very cool to kind of write a new character. I mean, she was there in the storyboards, but it was a totally, you know, it was a different story and she had a different arc and we knew she had to be somebody that the Peanuts gang would really be drawn to. She almost serves as our tour guide. So she had to be charming and sweet uh, and actually kind to Charlie Brown, which is not something he's used to all the time. Uh, and hopefully somebody that people would want to see again if we get to revisit this character or more stories. So, and yes, I did imagine her accent. Uh, I'm not good at accents, but I did imagine <laughs> Uh, it, and it was just really kind of funny to, uh, and when I, when I write, I always imagine the Peter Robbins voice of Charlie Brown, remember from Charlie Brown Christmas. So I imagined that voice talking to a little Scottish kid. So it was, it was fun. Oh, that's adorable. And it translates so well. And honestly, that's the voice that I imagine too, when I'm reading, because, because you have to, like, it's just, all right. So Robert and Hannah, that brings me back to the two of you. How much research did you both do on the Scottish landscape and Scottish culture to help inform your drawing and your colors? I'm gonna say, Hannah, why don't we go first and talk about your colors first? I spent a lot of time on Google Maps, traveling the virtual streets of Scotland to inspire the colors. And uh, while cartoons tend to be a little bit more vibrant than real life, I was doing my best to stay true to the environment uh, as as it stands out there, it's a beautiful, beautiful country. I would love to travel there someday. It was very nice getting to travel there a bit vicariously through coloring this project. Uh, but I I tried to make sure I was sticking with the the feel of every important landmark we visited as much as I could. It was so cool getting to bounce around the entirety of Scotland through the eyes of the peanuts. And so your colors were just also like the, the last spot that they went to with the lights and everything. Oh my God, beautiful, gorgeous, gorgeous. Um, Robert, what was it like for you? And what research did you do on Scotland? I did a lot of research. Uh, thankfully, I live within walking distance of a travel agency. So I ran down immediately and got all the brochures that I could get. Um, I've been around long enough that I still have a big swipe file. I use Google images a lot, but I still have lots of tear sheets and old catalogs and travelogue books and things like that. So I pulled out a bunch of stuff. And in some cases, uh, Jason had created a theater. The theater in the story is actually an amalgam or a combination of several different theaters. So I was building a lot of things from scratch. And I, I did tons of research. 
and I'm sorry, I'd like to apologize publicly, Hannah, for all the detail. And you're, you're a marathon runner to get through all of that stuff. But unfortunately, we're all tasked with making sure that everyone picks up the book and knows that they're in Scotland and it's not one of Snoopy's fantasies. So all the detail must be there. And uh, it, it was a lot of fun. I, I've been to Europe quite a few times. Um, my wife is from Ireland, but I've never been to Scotland. But much like Hannah, I kind of feel like I've been there now. So do I. Thank you both for like letting me have this experience with the peanuts. It's so gorgeous. Um, Lex, that brings me back to you. You've been there from the beginning. You've seen the whole cake get baked. What's it been like for you to finally see this, all of these pieces come together and this story finally get told? Uh, it's a thrill. Like Jason said, you know, this started with an unproduced storyboard that we found on our archives. And, and it's a story that we've circled for several years and passed off to different folks to take a crack at it. And, um, and when we were looking to do our next graphic novel with the wonderful folks at Boom, we came back around to Scotland because as we, as we mentioned before, uh, it was a, it was a story that Jeannie Schultz wanted us to, to try and, and, and do. And so I think the reason the book sings and um, looks as good as it does and, and reads as good as it does and, and, um, is because we all, we really just did it for Jeannie. We really wanted to just make a book for her. Um, and of course for, for Mr. Schultz, Sparky, as we call him, and hopefully we delivered and that's, and that's all you can do is just do your best and, and hope that other folks enjoy it. So it's been, it's been a real treat. And as always, you know, being part of the, the boom crew via the Schultz studio is, is, is one of the thrilling parts of this whole process. Oh, we're so glad to have you. And we're so excited that we get to help be part of this and tell this story. And I'm so excited for all of these people to pick it up. Now, final question for everybody. I'm going to go with Hannah first. Which Peanuts character is your all-time favorite? You can only pick one. Peppermint Patty. All right. Good choice. <laughs> Robert, who is your favorite? You can only pick one. Linus. All right, Jason. Who's your favorite? Only one. <laughs> I relate the most to Charlie Brown, but I would say Pigpen is my favorite. Okay, Lex, bring us home. Who's your favorite? Snoopy. Yay! As the flying ace. Snoopy as the flying ace. Yes. Is yes. My, my ultimate favorite. Oh, also, all wonderful choices. I love to hear it. Oh my gosh. Jason, Robert, Hannah, Lex. Thank you all so much for your time today. It's been so wonderful getting to chat with all of you about all things peanuts in Scotland. And for those of you watching at home, be sure to pick up Scotland Bound Charlie Brown, available now wherever books are sold.